Hey people on YouTube, Land Zach Hall here. I want to do another Bible review for you, and today we're going to be looking at the large print wide margin from Hendrickson Publishers. So it comes in this nice clamshell box. Down the back, if you want to pause this video, this is a, some of the features of the Bible. Here's a kind of a text look. The ISBN, if you're interested in this Bible, this is a $51 off of ChristianBook.com. So it's a pretty good price. Uh, the edition we're looking at is a black bonded leather. Uh, this is the highest leather cover or the highest cover edition it comes in right now. Um, it's a black bonded leather. It's more of a bonding material than it is leather. However, still a, a decent cover. It has Holy Bible and silver. All the spine has silver as well. It has silver page edges with a uh, white slash silverish ribbon marker. Um, it is a vinyl paste off liner with reinforced spine. And that's a vinyl sheet there as well. I'm going to give you a size of how big this Bible is. It's a pretty good size. Uh, this would be the Cambridge Wide Margin Concord. The Concord is actually slightly wider, but it is less tall by about probably half an inch. So it is a good sized Bible. And then thickness wise, the Hendrickson is slightly, slightly thicker. So this does have a standard presentation page here. And then you have a title page. And I also put my highlighting system in there as well. This Bible is printed in China by R.R. R. Donnelly. Um, so one... Thing I probably just don't like about the Bible is being printed in China, but however, that is where it is printed. Here is the table of contents, and then you get the books of the Bible in uh, alphabetical order, and then the epistle dedicatory, and then straight in the Old Testament. And so, again, this is a large print wide margin, so the font is 11 point font, it is very nice. Take a look at it there. And this has end of verse references. So instead of having a center column or all the references down here in, a, in a, the right-hand corner of a reference queue uh, or having them in the margins, they have them at the end of the verse. So this allows you to have some references but not a crazy amount. You can see it has a nice uh, space all the way around the Bible. The verse numbers are bold. Very easy to see. Uh, and then the rest of the text is indented away from it. So it makes it uh, very easy to find the verse numbers quickly. So I've done a slight break in and use this live a little bit. So you can see it still wants to fight. The spine is definitely very stiff. However, I think with some time, this definitely is going to loosen up and lay flat. So we're still in Genesis there and it's starting to lay flat now. So, kind of what I, why I wanted to get this Bible is just to have a simple wide margin that's not a premium Bible, or I'm not freaking out about how I have to take notes in it. I can kind of just take notes in this and not mess it up. Yet, I wanted something that had a thick enough paper to actually be able to take notes, and this uh, answered the call. So, yeah, for only $51, the paper is very thick. I would say it's on par with some of the better Bibles up there as far as its thickness. The opacity is not too bad. You can kind of see some uh, show through there, but nothing, nothing too crazy. I did highlight right in this Bible here in Timothy. So you can see the highlighter there. Okay, and the highlighters I used are these AccuGel GTL highlighters. And they got some good colors, so this is part of my coloring system as well. I show at the front of the Bible. So the colors show a bold, very nice. Uh, it's very easy to highlight. Not a ton of smear. And then I actually wrote in the margins with the O2 Pigma Micron, which is one of the bigger, bigger Pigma Micron pins. And so I was very surprised that it didn't actually. Uh, it doesn't even ghost that bad, let alone bleed through. So 
you can kind of see there no bleed through and I mean that's a thick pin so I was very impressed so if you use an 01 or an 005 you're definitely not gonna have any problems with having show through or anything like that with this paper and you can see the highlighting on the back side you can barely barely see it I mean there's some green there And then let's see here, pink. Pink normally shows up a little bit more, so let's take a look at that. So it's right there. So you can see a little bit there, but I mean, really not bad at all. You can barely notice that once you're zoomed out. So let's, I highlighted this space back here too in first, John. Take a look at that. There you go. And then I just added my own cross references at the end, just like the rest of these. So kind of comes in handy there as well. Um, the page uh, number is in the middle of the of the of the book, and then the chapter book and all that information is in the left and the right hand corners. The margin space you have about an inch to an inch and a quarter on this side. You have about an inch. On the top and bottom there. Once you get down here, probably closer to an inch and a quarter, and they're about an inch, inch and a quarter in the uh, middle gutter as well. And then just show you this ribbon real quick. It's a decent ribbon. It's double sided satin, so it's nice in that regard. Or excuse me, this is a single sided satin ribbon. So see, it's shiny on that side. Not shiny is on on that side. So. Single sided, but not bad. It's still a good ribbon. Now at the end of this Bible, you've got some helps in here. So you've got these special features here. Key Bible promises, harmony of the gospels, miracles of the Old Testament, parables of the Old Testament, miracles of the New Testament, parables of the New Testament, Old Testament prophecies of the Passion, uh, which means the crucifixion of Jesus, and then a concordance. So we'll flip through this really quickly. So those are your key Bible promises. Harmony of the Gospels. Miracles of the Old Testament. Parables of the Old Testament. Miracles of the New Testament. And then parables of the New Testament. And then your Old Testament prophecies of the Passion. And then a general concordance. It is uh, 76 pages long, as it said there on the box. So you do have quite a bit of entries. Double column. And you can see this is where I tested the highlighters at. So if you want to take a look at this, I used all the colors. So that way you can kind of see. So we'll flip this around. And again, really you can't see uh, about anything on there. A little bit of the orange up there, pink, but other than that, you get a nice vibrant color with those with minimal bleed through or uh, ghosting. Excuse me. Then you got some maps. Um, these are uh, decent. They're uh, printed on uh, semi gloss cardstock paper. Everything seems to have been notated well. The printing is pretty clear. The colors are um, well chosen. They're not too bold, but they're also not too dull. So. Strikes a good balance. And then you have the in sheet tied to the maps there in the back as well. So, awesome Bible for, for $51. Great wide margin Bible. And so the reason I got this again is just so I could take notes on something where I'm not freaking out about it. And I have probably a story I'll share a little bit, little, little bit later about premium Bibles. But the other thing is I got this also from Hendrickson. This is their giant print uh, reference Bible. And this is the same exact Bible as the wide margin, just without the wide margins. So I'll show you that passage there in Timothy. And I'll open up this Bible there as well. So you can kind of see Chapter 2 is on the same page, and I put the highlights in the same 
Same page as well, but we'll get chapter four up there. So that way, when I just want to carry something to church, uh, like I had, a, we were at a Bible study tonight. This is easy, very easy to carry. I don't need to take notes in this Bible. It's just there to read. I can add a quick reference or two, and then I can add a note here to see the wide margin. Then come over here and actually have the note in there. But I have the same highlightings on the same page. So this will be the wide margin will be like my preaching, teaching, and note taking Bible, whereas this personal size will be more of my carry. Uh, maybe evangelism. I take this one to work, to on-the-go Bible studies, and then to church when I'm not preaching. Um, and it's awesome. This Bible is 12, 12 bucks, but I'll do a more in-depth review on that. But this is a great carry combo. So, you know, a carry combo for, for $63, you can get both these Bibles from Christian Book together. And that's the total price. And you get yourself a nice carry combo. They're both Smithstone uh, bindings. Um, this one... Um, is my sewn. I've seen the stitching, but it's not really glued well. So all the glue is pretty much gone, and it's just being held in by the stitching. I don't think that's going to affect too bad the longevity of this Bible. Um, and I don't expect this thing to last a long time anyways. It's not what its purpose is. It's so I can just use it and not worry about it. But it's got a beautiful 11.5 point font, so it's very easy to read. And the verse numbers, again, are bold. It's the exact same text, but um, I like to look at the black and the brown. It's a pretty cool look. So I'll do a review on that one later. But if you have any questions about the wide margin, please let me know. Um, again, just to kind of give you a font comparison between maybe something like this and the Cambridge wide margin. Let's do that real quick. Okay. So there really isn't a comparison on font size. The, the Hendrickson is definitely a lot bigger font, but it is a slightly bigger Bible. And the Cambridge has a slightly darker print. And the Cambridge is a bold, a bold font, whereas the Hendrickson is not. So the Cambridge is easy, pretty easy to read, but this Hendrickson is just uh, uber, uber easy to read. So there's kind of a comparison between uh, one of the popular wide margins there in the Cambridge. So again, as, as, as I use this, I'll give you guys an update of how it holds up. And um, of these, I probably would get the wide margin rebound once it actually falls apart. I'm going to use it till it falls apart and then uh, probably get it rebound so I can keep all my notes and keep using this Bible. But this one I probably will just replace with another one of these um, since it was cheap enough and you know, it's going to serve its purpose in just being a daily reader. So, but yep, the guys, that's a review of the Hendrickson large print wide margin Bible here. Again, you can get a good deal on this from ChristianBookDistributors.com. And again, there's a picture of the back there. So go check it out. If this is something you're interested in. You want a basic wide margin without breaking the bank. Uh, this is a great Bible. I uh, can't recommend it enough. Hope you guys have a great day. Take care and God bless.